Okay, so in this uh, video, we take another look at Anaconda Navigator and we'll set up our studio. So just basically, we come here. We've already looked at, uh, in a previous video, uh, the Jupyter Notebook, how we set up, how we set the password. And also, we uh, tested a spider using some sample code from Vinegar Hill. Let's just install. Here, that may take a second, so I might pause. Okay, and our studio cannot be installed in this environment. Do you want to install the package in the existing environment or create a new environment? So let's create a new environment. Okay, so we've, uh, it looks like we've installed um, and we have uh, version 1.1456. 1 1, uh, uh, you might note the time it took. It wasn't, it just took a little while uh, and you have to be patient. Let's launch uh, the RStudio environment and see what happens. And again, um, seems to be uh, fine, okay. And let's have a look and see what packages are avail available. Okay, and um, looks like these are ones I preloaded in. Uh, we'll check to see is there Deriv markets. So Deriv MK TS. Okay, so let's. Uh, um, install and look for the derive markets. Okay, and um, that will take a little while. But just to note that if we go into uh, the Vinegar Hill website, we had some video clips uh, relating to uh, our studio or our packages uh, that you can launch in our studio environment and um, they are quite uh, complete and comprehensive in terms of uh, estimating um, different uh, options. Now, normally we use R for data analysis, but turns out there's loads of packages. And one of interest here is this Derif Markets uh, package for R. Um, when we go into back into the R environment, it uh, looks like uh, we've installed, okay, and it now appears that we can, let's just uh, take on that, let's go derivative markets, and we might look for a simple one, I think it's a black Schultz function, so black Schultz call, okay, and I think there's an example, let's go pick the screen. And if we come down to the bottom here, there's typically an example. So let's just copy what's here, copy. Now th there's a video clip on the Vinegar Hill website that explain in more detail what I'm doing here, but this is just a test. Uh, new file, R script, and we can paste. Um, because we've already, if we go to the packages, because the Rift Markets has been ticked, that enables that particular library. So we open this library and then we can invoke this code or use this code by invoking this uh, existing package. So let's uh, run and let's see what output we get. So we've entered in variable parameter inputs for the value of a stock and exercise volatility, risk free rates, the uh, maturity, terms of years, and then dividend yield. And then to output the Black Scholes call, right, we have 278. We can do a quick check here. So we're getting some output. If I go back and change the values to familiar values, so for S100, K100, for the volatility, the uh, volatility to the return, we're going to say was 20%, risk free rate equal to five, dividend zero, and maturity equal to one whole 
year. If we run this again, we notice that the parameters have changed. And then when we run our function for Black Scholes call, we should get 1045 down here. Okay, so 1045. Okay, so this is working and um, we're able to launch, again, the benefit here is we're able to launch the RStudio package from inside the Anaconda Navigator and R is uh, one of the uh, useful uh, data analytic softwares that's a freeware and it in many respects um, performs uh, analysis that we're capable of doing uh, using Python. So two big packages that uh, software that are useful in the data analytics uh, world for both R, uh, R Studio, uh, Jupyter Notebook for Python, and Spider Spider here also for Python.